So you bought the telescope, you have some eyepieces and the only thing you can see are some faint black and white objects. But you want more, you want to do this. So I'm here to tell you what to do to reach that level and have very nice pictures with your telescope. To do that, I use a technique which is EAA, Electronically Assisted Astronomy, and is a very powerful technique for your telescope. Yes, today I'm at that level and I do very nice imaging sessions with my telescope. However, it was not always like that. Everybody starts the same way. And with me, it was no exception. Look at me. <laughs> this is from my first video on my channel. I was so proud to have a new Dobsonian. My first Dobsonian telescope. Huge. 12 inch. I got new better eyepieces and I was ready to go. The universe was mine. My wife and kids were happy to participate in this. Nonetheless, after a while, we realized we wanted to watch more objects with colors and take some pictures. However, in order to do that, I needed tracking. So a month after, we were in the Christmas season with all that gifts and spending money atmosphere. And I took the chance to buy my first camera, the ZWO224 and an equatorial platform. It was already an excellent upgrade for visual because now me, my wife and my kids could watch the sky for longer without the objects running away from the eyepiece. In addition to that, we could watch through the camera and also take some pictures. Some months later, after saving money to buy a new camera, I bought the ZWO294 which has a larger sensor allowing us to watch any object in the sky with an amazing quality and also take some pictures with it. Now we were in ecstasies. We installed SharpCap, a software that you can download from this website and for free. The learning curve started here and I will show you exactly how I did to have it ready to go. For start, place your equatorial platform outside. This is needed for tracking if you don't have a go-to. Then place the rocker over the equatorial platform and then the tube over the rocker. Now insert your camera into the focuser and connect it to your laptop or desktop. If you bought a ZWO camera, don't forget you have to install the drivers you can download from the ZWO website. After download and install SharpCap software, you are ready to go. As I know, any software at the beginning seems complicated. I will simplify that for you. To start, just copy exactly my settings. I will show you. Open SharpCap and connect your camera. To do that, select from the menu. Now choose the color space. This choice will depend on the camera. I'm using the ZWO294 and I choose Route 16. If you have a different camera, just select RGB24. Now the capture area should have already the default value. Just make sure you have the highest values there. Choose PNG files on the output format. Set the exposure to 2000 milliseconds, which means 2 seconds. This is a good start. Later, you can try to increase those values. And now the gain. I usually use 350 and that also will depend on your camera. Try to place it on a middle to higher range. You can slowly play with the exposure and the gain values to see what fits better in your camera. Don't forget to focus to have those pinpoint stars we want. 
and a good focus is needed for the software to live stack properly. Just point to a bright star in the sky and turn the focuser knobs clockwise or anti-clockwise until you get the sharpest star as possible. Now let's live stack. If you're getting value from this video, give a thumbs up to spread it and help more people all over the world. Let's point the 18-inch Dobsonian to the Sombrero Galaxy. And this is a bonus trick to find objects. Click on the Thunderbolt on the mini histogram at the right, find the object and then reset it. You have to reset it before start live stacking. This is just a trick to make the object pop on the screen. Click on live stack. For now, just make sure you have the aligned frames checked and also raw frames to save known. Forget the rest for now. Remember, this is just to start. Click on the alignment tab and make sure you have these settings. These are very important for the software to manage the alignment. I use the minimum stars possible and the sensitivity to 80. These values work for me. If in your situation the software can't find stars for alignment, you can play with the sensitivity. Some trial and error. Usually this is the first problem the beginners have to face. The lack of or the excess of stars to align. Now reset the live stack on the clear button. You can do it every time you need to reset. Usually after you play with the settings and then mess all the live stack. You reset and no problem. Besides, you just have to do it once. The software remember those settings. And now we go to the histogram tab. This is the tab you always have to manage when you live stacking. But don't panic. This is easy to manage and I repeat this over and over in my videos and especially in my live streams where you can ask questions and I clarify your doubts. I'm here to help you. Now you did everything that I said and instead of watching a beautiful sombrero galaxy as you see in my videos, you only can see this poor image and may start getting nervous again. Please don't because I will tell you the secret. This is very important because this is the point where many beginners give up from EAA. Nonetheless, it can be solved increasing the exposure and applying darks. Look at the difference on the image with 8 seconds exposure and applying darks. You have to use darks. It's super easy to do. It can be done anytime just with a laptop connected to the camera. You don't need to be outside with a telescope. And SharkCap do it almost all for you. To learn that, click on this video you see on the screen where I give you all the simple instructions to do it. I'll see you there. Don't give up.